Stop right there, human. Oh, enough running away from me. There is no way of this room. What? I'm not here to hurt you. Damn it, I'm here exactly to prevent the many others from getting hurt. What do I mean? Oh, look at what I'm wearing. Damn it. I am a knight and a centaur, as you may see. What do I want from you? Oh, finally trying to be cooperative, aren't we? Good, good. Well, I am a warrior, imagine from the Holy Church. But despite my years of combat expertise, I cannot save the world all on my own. From what? From the Titans, of course. What? You don't know about them? <laughs> well, the Titans are the main ace of all the humans and monsters alike. And only the Knights of the Holy Church have been trained to fight them. And I, Sora the Fourth, I am one of them. What are you supposed to do, you ask? Well, that's simple. You will have to follow me to the Holy Church to be trained as well. And then, after having been taught all of our magical techniques to ride on my back, sword in one hand and shield in the other, slaying the titans that threaten our... Wait, don't run away! Oh. I will need to find them once more. I cannot allow their death. No more running around. My future rider. Oh, come on. Stop crying in that corner of the room. It's not proper for a future knight of the Holy Church. Mm, well, Perhaps I've been far too direct. Well, let me think. <laughs> okay. Huh? What am I doing? I'm removing my holy armor. That's what I'm doing. Listen, you and I are going to be fighting the Titans, even if you don't want to. But still, I'm not going to treat you as a meat sack. So. <sighs> cannot deny how your, well, physical appearance caught my eye from the very start. But only pure-hearted people may give given the honor to ride a center such as myself. I can sense your heart, human. And it's a pure one indeed. So, to show that I carry the wish to bring no harm upon you, I'm going to allow you to hug me. That's what humans do to ease each other's stress, isn't it? Good. Now then, let me wrap my upper arms around you. You... Oh, uh, I understand. I want to wrap my arms around you while you hug me. If it's going to prove my sincerity of intentions. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> No, nothing. Now that I was slowly relaxing, I couldn't help but notice how small you are, human. You are an adult, aren't you? Hmm, of that age? <laughs> what are the odds? We are of the same age, you and I. If I happen to look any different, that's due to my long training. I can break stones with a strike of my horse legs. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not going to bestow any harm upon you. As I've told you before, all of my strength is going to be used as a means to bring down the titans. My blade, forged in the holy fire of the holy church, is going to slice off the life from the malicious titans. And while I run on the battlefield, you are going to stand on my back. Oh, sorry. Just for of a bit. <laughs> but it's true after all. Mm. You still look kinda perplexed. Maybe we should rest in this castle for today and 
only for the Holy Church tomorrow morning, with first morning light. At least you have run into a surprisingly still intact place while running from earlier. It looks like it's going to rain later today, and having a proper roof over our heads while we rest, it's very, it's pretty useful. You want me to tell you about the Titans? Well, there should be the task of the Holy Church librarians, but... Fine. We are going to stay here for a while, after all. So, the Titans are creatures that aim to destroy both humans and monsters. They are as old as the world itself, but have been sealed off by a group of holy heroes a long time ago. But of course, with all the recent explorations of the underground, the Titan's prison has come loose, resulting in their freedom. But that's all I know. I'm more interested in action, not the knowledge of the situation. They can bleed? Good, it means they can feel pain and die. And that's where my part of the war comes. Oh well, <laughs> Of course, my four is all clean. Being a knight doesn't mean that I'm not going to take care of my appearance. On the contrary, I'm quite proud of my physical appearance. As all the other members of my race, to be honest. Even in battle, filling our opponent's hearts with dread due to our immaculate appearance. Showing how their futile attempts will never scar our resolve to... <laughs> Oh, my apologies once more, human. And serious, it's totally not voluntary. Huh? If I think that's going to give me some issues after the war with the Titans? I... I have actually never thought about an after. I mean, what would the result if I cannot survive till then? I prefer to spend all of my energies to survive. And then, only after, all of the titans have been buried under meters of stone and dirt, start to think about an after. You just hope to get back home with your video games and with your live streams. Well, simple mind, simple life. Oh look, it seems I was right. A storm is approaching. And a good one, too. The Titans have changed the balance of our world, so it has unfortunately become natural for improvised events to take place. Yes, the other week's tornado was one of such events. But enough of that now. Do you enjoy rainy days? I personally hate them. You don't want to find out how stinky my fur gets when wet. Blech. And it only happens with water. I don't get the same issue with sweat. And I sweat a lot, trust me. If it was not for having to find you, I would have been training for 15 hours each and every day. If it was not for having to find you, I would have been training for 15 hours each and every day. Of course, silly. You're gonna need to train as much as I do. Only that way we may achieve victory against the Titans. <laughs> I'm going to take my time with those operations. Well, I will take my holy blade and purge the world from their presence. Bathe in their unholy blood and carry their sinful heart in my hands, each of them shredded by hard charged holy plates. Oh, damn it, damn it. Okay, okay, um, I'm gonna try to stop doing that. What? No, please, please. Oh, fine, I'm gonna try to seriously work on that, but please don't run away. I need you. The church, ne the church needs you. The world needs you. Oh, okay, okay, but you're going to help me, understand? Good, good. <sighs> mm. 
but uh, but now I'm going to need a really good rest. Running after you the whole day has been really tiring. At least you already have good leg muscles. At least you already have good leg muscles. Which is ideal for a person like you. For the church, we must have run for at least 30 kilometers. Not that much. I usually have at least 100 kilometers for my warm up, but doing the Doing it in a forest with no prior idea of having to do so. <laughs> mm. Yes, you can lay your head on my soft fur. You're gonna get used to sleeping with me, anyways, especially during missions to take down the, the titans. <sighs> Good night. I will wake you up early in the morning. Wakey wakey, human. <laughs> Have you slept well on my fall, you precious human? Of course you will. Yes? It's still really early, but it stopped raining around an hour ago, and the night will grant us protection. So, take all of your stuff. So, take all of your stuff and get on my back. We are gonna have a really long journey before reaching the Holy Church. Good. You can do it. <laughs> Good to Hilma. So, how does it feel to be riding a center woman? Does it make you feel braver? <laughs> I've asked that because you still look quite shy, that's all. But we're gonna have all the time we need to make you into the perfect warrior. So, while we walk, well, while I walk, but that's not important, so what I wanted to say was, do you perhaps have any allergies? The Holy Church is home to many different races of monster guards, so I'd better ask you about that right away. I really don't want you to fall onto the ground because an echo maid got too close to you. <laughs> Allergic to honey? Hmm. That would make it impossible for you to experience queens being attacked. But well, maybe you can still ask a slime. But well, maybe you could still train with a slime boy. Hmm? Oh, are you that curious about my fellow knights? Well, there are those twin wolf girls, the shy fox boy, even if I think you two may get along really well. You know, between shy people and all. <laughs> the mouse woman chef is pretty friendly. Feel free to tell her about your favorite plate. She's going to make them as good as she can. You have a family waiting at home? Well, don't worry. You may all call your parents and tell me you'll never see them again because you're mine now. Well, you're gonna be owned by the Holy Church, I mean. <laughs> because you're gonna be a center knight. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing with someone on my back is not the best for my lungs. <laughs> well, if that's gonna make you right me, sure, mutual benefit. <laughs> well, I guess I have to take it as a reason to work even harder to improve my lungs capacity. I'm gonna need to laugh in the face of our fallen enemies, can't I? But okay, okay, you're still not used to waking up so early. You can rest on my back, but I warn you, I'm going to throw it pretty fast later, so don't lose your focus. Well, time to start our adventure. I'm so glad I got you with me. A handsome rider. A wonderful rider. <laughs>